Jack Nicholson once said, you can't handle the truth. Well, he said it in a movie that our Aaron Sorkin wrote, but knowing Jack as I do, he would have said it himself anyway. Well, I believe this group can handle the truth. And the truth is, if you're going to succeed in the entertainment business, you will need knowledge, luck, experience, luck, timing, and did I mention luck? So I lost my career and uh, my family, my family all in one day. I lost about 15 pounds. I was sleeping on a friend of mine's couch and I got a phone call. Anybody here ever heard of Robert Evans? There you go, okay. So I get a phone call. Uh, hello, 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 Howard. I said, hi, Bob. And he said, uh, uh, do you know it's me? And I said, uh, I recognize your voice. He said, uh, how, you, uh, how you doing? I said, I'm not doing too well, Bob. How are you doing? He said, well, I'm shooting this uh, movie, A Marathon Man. And I said, oh, yeah, how's it going? He said, uh, we've been shooting 10 days. I said, yeah. He said, uh, we're 10 days behind. And I said, well, what's wrong? He says, uh, how the hell do I know? What do you think I'm calling you for? <laughs> so uh, I stopped feeling sorry for myself long enough to get on a plane and make my way to the set where Academy Award winning director John Schlesinger, Academy Award winning cinematographer uh, Conrad Hall, and Academy Award winning actor Dustin Hoffman were holding a master class in how not to make a movie. I turned to Dustin and I said, you have every right to have a problem with a scene. And he kind of smiled. I said, a week ahead of time. You have no right on the day of shooting to have a problem with today's scene. I will get William Goldman, great screenwriter, up here. We'll talk about the scenes and, we will, and, and we'll talk about next week's scenes. But today you're going out and you're shooting the scene as is. We lost one day in the next 75 days of shooting. Marathon Man was a huge hit movie and it launched my career because everyone in town, and folks, it's a small town, heard what I had done. Had I not lost my family and career in 1975, I might not have been able to take control of that film because in losing everything, I found the freedom to be fearless. And that is a lesson I've used to make every career decision since. So here are some tips that I hope might help you. Don't be afraid. Fear gets in the way. And fear makes you compromise your integrity. Have fun. Period. Self-explanatory. If you're not having fun, something's wrong. Work on something that's meaningful. I produced Wayne's World. And I'll be honest, Wayne's World didn't save the world. It didn't even save Wayne. But it made us all laugh. It made kids living out fantasy lives in their parents' basements feel that someone understood them. I think that matters. Most importantly, don't be afraid. I've been living my dream for many, many years since that low moment in 1975. And what I hope for you all is that you live your lives the way you live your lives, you will also be living your dreams. As president of the Academy, and on behalf of filmmakers everywhere, welcome to our community. We can't wait to see where your careers take you. Congratulations, and may the force be with you.